that have undergone that transformation. So where were you before? First of all, how long did it take to survive? Uh, almost five years. So five years. Okay, so five years ago, go all the way back to that. Where were you in terms of your scores? Well, I was in bad shape. I had... Can everyone hear me? Turn that one off. So, I was, I was in a lifetime of unhealthiness. I didn't know any other way. From K through 12, my adult life, until 33. Hello? So, until I was 32 years old, saw my future with my family getting adult diabetes, cancer, knee replacement, and so on. Um, my two little girls are the ones that really open my eyes. Great. Yep. Good. Okay, so and, and what else is going on in the other area? Well, so I was at a 21 out of 60. In the physical? Yes. Okay. How about the mental? 21 out of 60. Is well. that like your theme, 21? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> the financial, I was pretty good, but I wasn't able to contribute the way that we are. My wife was still working. Um, Teachers at school didn't have the supplies that they have now. Uh, some other things that we're able to do. Okay, so you were working hard, but at the sacrifice of your mind and your body, right? Yes, and a lot of hours and a lot of off that I wasn't, wasn't terrible at that. Yeah. By the way, career well-being, what you fill your days with, is two times more important than any other area in terms of well-being. So, you know, that's what's so cool. Once you really get to the point where you shift life and you do it full-time, you just go out and help you every day. I mean, I gotta say, I get, from the, it's funny because the trilogologists, you know, those are moving up through the ranks, they'll, they'll email them and say, we need to be. I'm just like, I'm not going as fast as I wanted to, okay? And then all of a sudden, man, they hit the multiplier and it starts really happening. And then I get from that I thank you again for giving me this life because then it just gets ridiculous. <laughs> so, okay, so let's fast forward, Jim. Where are you now? Well, now I'm 80 pounds less and I've kept it off. <laughs> So bottom 
guys listen where he might be where you are right now. He might be somewhere and I'm not sure. I can hear see them doing. I don't know. But Walsh did he went to work and what he said there, he started working every day at it, right? Still, Still. every day. And the other thing is he didn't say you have to he had to he had to believe. He had to believe in that the system actually could create transformation. Very big difference. You don't have to believe you can do it. You just have to do it. You don't have to believe. When you ate that first meal replacement, did you have to believe that you were lose weight? You just did it, right? You started losing weight. The same thing with business. So, Jason, thank you so much. It was great. You were my way. My way. James is going, uh, we're going to go, what are we going to go do in a few weeks? Woo-hoo. We're going to go to Vail. Yeah. Woo-hoo. You're going to ski on the snow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't help that you have to descend into the knuckle driver yet. <laughs>